Hey everyone, welcome back in. Alright, so, picking up pretty much not too long after we left off, I, I fiddled around a little bit. I decided to go ahead and get our oil power plant down here in the middle of the city uh, so we can get some power to these people at the moment. I moved some houses right here, just drug the train line right through there. This will all get changed up later on once we have gas power and we have the Arctic stuff unlocked. I filled in a few blanks trying to make like a warehouse district sort of thing behind our main trading post right here uh, using some of the on land cargo stations that we have like this and just kind of just trying to make it look a little interesting. We also went ahead and placed down our first steam shipyard. Very happy with this to have finally and I am building a uh, clipper in the other in the old world so we, we're going to go for right now and just buy let's see yeah we're going to go ahead and just buy steam motors and probably caoutchouc from him uh, these two things possibly go ahead and get some steel and iron as well uh, just to have those four commodities brought in and we'll use that to build a few of the things we want. I definitely want a cargo ship pretty quickly. Cargo ships are amazing for the three-star rescue missions. And battle cruisers, or a couple of battle cruisers would not hurt as well. Oh, so. What I want to get focused on today is to go ahead and hurry up and get up to investors. That is today's major goal, really. Is I want those investors happening. Okay, we have unlocked something. I don't know what we unlocked. Oh, we unlocked these fences right here. Okay. We just need to get about 200 more, so that's not too awful bad. We can do that pretty pretty easily. There it is. Okay. And of course, the uh, the bank is going to be something that we will build much, much later on. All right, we already have power to them, so that is a good thing. And now we need light bulbs. Light bulbs are not too bad of a of an industry right here. So we do have one of these, which I believe is supplying everything we need. Processing time, 15 seconds. Processing time, 15 seconds. And those are going into this. So yeah, one of these is still okay. Uh, we do need a filament, though. So let's get some coal going. Uh, I do want to go ahead and just go ahead and make one more coal. Uh, let's see, iron, iron, coal. Here we go. Another one of those, and let's get a an electrified filaments factory happening here somewhere. We have electricity right here, it looks like. Now comes the question of where exactly do I want this thing at? Uh, let's go before I fix that. Let's make this right here happen. Who do we have? We have the resurrection. Okay. So, Cape Trelawney, you're going to go from there to there. And I want you to buy all of those, all that. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick up the iron. And let's just go ahead and pick up the steel. And we're just going to buy all of those goodies and have them bring that back. Okay. This guy. Where do I want you? Where, oh, where do I want this? If I remember correctly, these actually look pretty good when they're fit together. Um, so, you know what? We're going to do... Do I want to do this? Do I want to do something crazy and just maybe take these guys right here out? Maybe take this right here out as well? Okay, then let's maybe move him out of the way for right now. Just, just get out of my way. Let's get him out of the way. Okay, here we go. 
now. Filament factory. And light bulbs. Okay, I was trying to remember which direction these things faced. That they looked the best. Like so? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. I can live with that. Okay, let me think here. What What's next? So those are good to go now. You know, I could actually we pull these back a little bit. Mm, no, you know what? I take it back. Let's do that. See, there it is. That's what I liked. It kind of looks like it goes together right there. Whoops. The festival has ended. Then I want to drag you to right there. Maybe something like that. Okay, not that. Stop that. Here we go. Let's just do that. Okay, that'll work. So it's kind of got its own little warehouse back there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now again, all of this right here is going to get changed up later on. And I'll probably rearrange some of this once I get rid of this guy. But this at least gets us the filaments going. Let's crank that up. And we'll also complete a quest. I know we have not forgotten Forgotten Heroes. We will be getting to that soon. But I at least want to get City of Lights done. We need 50 bulbs. And this will let us get up to our investors. And then... <gasps> the palace! Oh, I can't wait! We're about to unlock the palace. I think we're about to unlock the palace. I'm pretty sure. We'll see soon enough. We will see soon enough. Because we are... About to have all of our light bulbs met. The city's looking pretty good so far. What do y'all think? Y'all think it looks y'all thinking it's looking pretty good so far? Do you think it looks ridiculous at the moment? Tell me what you think. I I'm pretty happy with it right now. As long as he doesn't run out of oil, which I don't think he will. Yeah. Because he'll go drop off a little bit there, then we'll drop off some up there. So we should not run out. Make sure I'm not missing, forgetting any quests that we're running right now. All right. Finally, it's investor time, guys. And I think I want these right here to be some of my first investors. Age of big business. All right. Investors. There it is. Oh, yeah. We got the palace. And, okay, a gas-fired power plant. I am curious about this. I'm going to make that a main thing. Okay, that's got a pretty reasonable uh, space on it. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Leave me alone. Uh, it looks like it might have slightly more coverage. It, it's looking like it might have slightly more coverage. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, but And it is the same size. Okay, that is important to know. That it is the same size as a regular power plant. Except it does not require railroads. That is awesome. But this right here is... Oh my god, that is so expensive. Holy crap. <laughs> One million. I mean, the cost of construction, but 5,000 maintenance. Jeez. Well, I don't care. We're making it. Oh, that is... That is too cool looking. Oh, that thing is awesome. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like giddy like a little child right now. That is so cool looking. Oh, by the way, I did fix this up here in the middle right here. Um, I used proper ends for the promenades, and then I put in the elephantin right here in the center. So that's kind of our little uh, centerpiece that I decided to do. As far as the palace... Um, I really wanted to be kind of at the end of this. I thought it would look really cool. But of course, it's not the same size because they hate me. Oh, 
God, that's aggravating. So, let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, this actually needs to go right there. Okay. I wonder how expensive was that? Whoops. I don't know how expensive that, how much that just cost me. I'm curious how much it did, though. Alright. Let's get down and, uh... Let's decide where we're going to put the palace. I really wanted the palace at the end right here. I thought that would look really awesome if it was. You know, just kind of the, the end of the boulevard. Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a square building. Can't go like that. See, I got... I was so excited about my awesome boulevard right here, and now my awesome boulevard is causing me to have problems. Um, hmm. Man, why they gotta make it a weird size? I mean, seriously, they could've made it one tile bigger and made it perfect what can I do with maybe with this boulevard to change it up a little bit let's think is there any way I mean I don't think I can because everything is based on multiples of two except this side two there there's just no good way to do it. This right here worked out pretty well, the way I did this. But I didn't do it like this, and I really don't want to have to go through and destroy the whole thing just to try to make it fit like that. So, maybe we just won't have, have it as the end point. I really wanted it to, but maybe we won't have it like that. Maybe we'll just put the palace off to the side right here. Um, yeah, let's just do it this way. Okay, let's go back here with it. Is that how I want to do it? Oh, it slopes downhill like that. Oh, that's annoying looking. Oh, I can't have that. Yeah, it's going to have to face this way. It's going to have to face this way, guys. I can't handle, uh, I can't handle that. How it slopes the, the slopes downhill like that yeah we can't have that it's gonna go right here uh, we're gonna this is a little more centralized to my island so this will be where the palace goes uh, I don't know if this is centered up or not but we're going to start it maybe right there you have reached a new palace level because ground falls gained a new attractiveness level so that got us up to appealing capital new buildings have been unlocked And we are going to go back and we're going to use our lovely little things like this. Like so. Okay. I like that. Now let's go under the farmers here. And I do believe I have. Yep, I do. Uh, I thought I had. Where did those things go? What else do we, ooh, what do we have here? What can we use? These are the elephant fountains. We have these. Okay, let's do this. I know one of these. I, I know I have one somewhere that creates... Okay, we'll put the fence like that. I wish I could put it right there, but I can't. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Um, I was pretty sure that there was an archway that made a road. Or maybe I'm losing my mind. Am I losing my mind? I might be. Yeah, I don't think there is. I don't think there's an arch that acts as a road. 
Because that would be perfect if I could do that. I'm thinking right now. That's why I got kind of quiet. I was kind of thinking about how I want to uh, do this. Okay, we'll just do it this way for right now. And let's grab... Where are those stupid... I really thought it was these right there. Oh no, there they are. There they are, there they are. Okay. I knew I had some somewhere. Okay. Lots of good fountains. Um, I'm not sold on that fence like that right there. It's... Uh, Maybe that, and then a couple of flags in front of it. Right on the back side, let's just for right now fill that in with, oh wait a minute, I have an idea. I have an idea of what I can do. Uh, let's just do the regular paving right here. And then this part, where did those, where's those paths at that I loved? Here they are. Yeah. Does this act as a, no, it doesn't act as a street. Oh, come on, I want them to act as a street. That'd be perfect. We'll do that. Okay, that'll work. Kind of going up to the main part of the uh, the building right there. Good deal. Okay. Okay, I have no idea how this thing works. Uh, build additional wings to widen the range of your palace's main building. The number of wings you can build increases as your profile level grows. Okay. So we can build a few of these. I wonder if it increases the uh, cost of everything. So we've got some gates. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so we can make a gate like this right here. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, okay, end pieces, cross pieces, junctions. All departments have a base effect that applies to their target building as long as they are within the range of the town hall. Department of... Okay, so... You can issue one policy department. Okay, so we have policies. We have different things right here. Oh, this is just... This is just awesome. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so that green right there is the range of it right there. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Department of Welfare, plus 10 Area of Influence. We have Department of Labor, does trade unions. Department of Culture, does the public moorings, okay. And this does the town halls, okay. So it looks like our first one right here, we can do... Creative Cuisine Act affects residences in range of connected town halls. 30% reduced need for all foods. And plus 50 workforce per town hall. Okay. The 30% less fish, sausages, bread, canned food, and chocolate. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Or we could do at plus 200. Okay, so that one right there is not going to work. 
plus one influence for engineer residences. That's kind of neat. Plus 200 attractiveness or plus one slot for town halls. That's actually really strong right there too. Department of Culture. Uh, we can't reach that just yet. But let's see what we've got. Plus one reward from World's Fair event. Plus 10 influence per museum module. Plus 10 influence per... Wow, these are really cool. Improves specialist. Wow, that's that's really good right there. Labor. We don't have any of these that are in range. Uh, but I do want to look at them. Extra goods from farms. Okay, that's, uh, that's okay. Extra goods from heavy factories. That's nice. Steam carriages, brass, and oil. Plus uh, all production buildings, electricity blues, plus, plus 50%. Wow. Minus workforce need and plus one item slot. Department of Welfare. So we do have quite a few of these. Plus 50 bonus income from University Variety Theater, Electricity, and Banks. Plus three attractiveness for artisan and engineer residences. Plus 15 area of influence for power plants. Wow, these are... Wow, and 20... <gasps> Look at that! 20% less coffee! Holy crap, I want that! Okay, in Department of Trade. Uh, can't... Doesn't seem to be able to reach that just yet. Okay, we need 2200 plus 300% productivity. Oh my god. Wow, these are these are awesome. Of course, this one right here is not doing me a ton of good because I don't have chocolate yet and all of my canned food. I mean, it's helping with like some of this stuff. Like it's consuming less fish and they're consuming less less bread. Okay, let's uh, let's design this thing. Let's let's design this thing. I'm I'm ready now. Let's make this happen. Let's just destroy everything I just built because I had no idea that there were all this other stuff was about to be a thing. Okay, first thing is first we need a gatehouse. Okay, requires adjacency to other building. Good to know. Okay, get rid of that, please. Let's just do the plaza right there in the middle. Okay, so we only have six. Oh! I uh, know. Unveiling a palace. Herald's government ambition for more efficient lawmaking. Uh, Exchequer refuses to reveal how extravagant building costs would be paid for. See page six for our own Walker Hagger's daring crown jewel pawn theory. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So we do only have six at the moment. So let's keep that in mind. I wonder if I can... Let's go into uh, blueprint mode and do this in blueprint mode. Alright, one. Two. We do have to keep in mind that this, that we only have a few to start with, so, and I definitely want that gatehouse right there. That is, uh, I've got to have that. Two, three. I'm already going to run out of room. Hmm. I'm already going to run out of room, guys. Ah, no. Two, three. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. I mean, I know that we'll, it will be able to expand later, but... There's certain things I just I just gotta have. Gotta have that gatehouse. I mean that's just I feel like that's just a necessity. Okay. So the next global population of thirteen thousand is when I can unlock four more and I can finish it up right there. Is there any way I can just make this not look kind of ridiculous though? I don't really guess there is. 
I mean, it should be able to do like a few more because now I can't connect and just make a simple connection right there. Is this thing turned around backwards? I can't tell. I can't tell what the front is supposed to be. I don't know if that's the front or if this is the front. I like that one just because it is up a lot higher. Yeah. We'll call this the front. Whatever. I don't think it matters. Um, yeah. You're, you're limited at the beginning, so... Like I need three more. I need to have be able to have nine to start to make it how I make it look how I want. It, it, that is a little annoying. Oh well, let's. Uh... Okay, we need more windows. That expanded it out a little bit more, not a whole lot more. Wings increase the palace range and attractiveness, increasing your profile load. You build more. It really didn't expand it out, so it's going to be able to go out that far. Wow. It does not have a very large range, does it? That's interesting to to, uh, to note. Is that it does not actually have a very large. Oh, it has variations. Oh, ooh. it's got variations. Oh, okay, I see. So you can just kind of place down whichever ones. I get it. I get it. Um, okay, so maybe we'll, we can do something like this then. Yeah. Maybe we'll just kind of play around with it a little bit here. Okay, we'll, we'll take that corner right there out for right now. No, this needs to go right there. We'll just make that an end piece for the time being. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. I could do something like that. Oh, no, hush. You're fine. Um, what do I need? I need, I only need like two more windows to, uh, get that upgraded. Where are you anywhere nearby bringing me my stuff? You're not. I'm actually not happy with the range on that thing. It's not a very big range. Yeah, affects public mooring in street range of the palace. So I've got a town hall there. That town hall looks like it will connect in once I uh, get a couple more pieces put onto there. Or at least uh, get that piece right there connected in. The public mooring is not in range. Trade unions are not in range. And I'm, these public buildings, though, they do give plus 10 to the area of effect on them. So that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, there you go. Department of Welfare. Okay. So we'll have two trade unions in range. The only thing I'm not liking is the fact that I can't get my public mooring in place with uh, the current, where it's at currently. But, I mean, 20%... A 20% more probability of guests, that would... I wonder if that's just additive. Does that make it go up to 46%? Hmm. Wait, what does it say specifically? Of visiting specialists. Hmm. I'm glad. At least it's not any busier. I wonder if that's additive or, multi or you know, if it's, uh, you know, it's 20% of 26%. And it just adds a little bit to it. I guess we could test. Let's uh, let's test it. No more or less 
Yeah, it's part of it. So it increases it by basically 5%. Okay, that's that's what I was curious about. Um, let's take some of that out. And let's just move the palace to right there. Back to the artisans. Back to this. There we go. It's connected up now. And got it in a little bit further. Yeah, so we have plus 50 for each of those, and we have reduced needs on everything. Okay, that's kind of, I, I like that, that is really cool. I, I like the palace already, guys, it is really, oh good, we can, we can do our next part. There we go, and so that has increased it a little bit more. The town halls, Department of Welfare. Looks like the welfare does not include hospitals. Hmm. Does not include hospitals because oh, those are emergency services. Okay, that makes sense. That's a public building. Playing range plus 10. Okay. Yeah, eventually maybe we'll get it to reach down here to this guy. But yeah, finally, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. We finally have the palace. Oh, and oh, the, uh, the administrator thing affects that. So it's down to... 4850 on that. Alright, any other policies I can set? Uh, that right there is actually really good. That one will be good later, much later on, but that right there is pretty good to start. We can't do any of those just yet. We'll probably do this one, the Skilled Labor Act. Department of Welfare. Uh, coal mine blew up. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Build, build. Thank you. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? Steam shipyard ready. Happiness and light and trade agreement dropped. Really? I thought I had. Oh, we have to. Okay. Um You can take all the credit for any fines I may No, place go away. No, I still have trade rights. They're right there. I don't know. She's happy with me. That's all I care about. Um okay, Department of Welfare. Probably going to do the arts patron just for more attractiveness. Yeah, probably going to do that one to start. And Department of Trade, we don't unlock that for quite a while, but that right there is going to be absolutely insane to have. That is so cool! I love our little palace. It's not like the prettiest place to start with it right there. It's not, you know, I don't really like the uh, that location for it, but it would work. I would love it if I could get it in the middle right here, but I totally kind of screwed up how it was going to be laid out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Palace looming over everything. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now, I'm sure... I wonder how many total, like, wings you can unlock. That's actually something I'm curious about, um, is how many wings total you can unlock. Like, and how much space. I wonder if there's a mod to increase the range of that thing, because seriously, that thing needs some more range on it. And since we have unlocked our lovely little that guy, I think we need to uh, I think it a brilliant metropolis rising here from the memory of the victory my father marked in Ice A shining new jewel in the crown of my empire. Oh, we gave her 50 uh, light bulbs. So now the mother of all cities, we have to reach 1,750 of those uh, investors. So, yeah, more and more and more stuff to do. But what I was going to say was, I think I'd like to decorate this up a little bit. Just make it look a little bit nicer.
I'm gonna put the lions right there. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Maybe put these back behind it like that. Yeah, I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now for the rest of it. We, unlock, uh, we have unlocked champagne. I do need to start thinking about champagne. And we have unlocked to be able to build the world's fair. A local department. Oh, I get it. So you can build small, like, local things. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. So it exp I bet I can't build those, though. Oh, can I? <gasps> oh, that's awesome. I can do a, a small palace over here. Like a small local palace over here. Oh, that is so nice. I like that they did that. Oh, that is that that is awesome. They even they even thought about that. Hey, you guys did a good job with that. I am very happy with it. <laughs> cool. Uh, oh God, I keep getting distracted. What the heck was I doing? Okay, some of that. And then I want trees. Yeah, I want the trees. Uh, actually, I don't want. The that I don't want them there huh no A little uh something like that then on the other side maybe we'll just do Maybe we'll just fill the rest of it in like that. There we go. That's a bit nicer little entrance to the palace right there. Uh, eventually we'll scoot the palace back and everything, of course, and away from the gatehouse as we get more buildings that we can attach to it and everything. Now I want to go back to North Happing and go set up a local department over there. Not right now, because wow, we're broke. Jeez, oh, what just happened? A uh, photography quest uh, for a motor assembly line. Uh, yeah, I could take a picture of hers because I don't have one. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have no idea why that just cost me so much. What happened to all my money? Did I spend it? Oh, I must have spent it when I was upgrading all this stuff. Is that what it was from? 50,000? Yeah. <laughs> Make, building all of those and then moving stuff around. Yeah, that's what that's what did it. Jeez, that was expensive. Oh, well. We'll get some more money back. Okay. I'm done with that. I, I am done with it. It's good. We're good. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's get some investors so we can uh, get some money. Out of windows. Oh, I think I know why we're out of money. I think it's this right here. I think this right here was costing me all my money. Uh, finances. A breakdown. Uh, let's see. I know there was a place I could look and see how much I was spending on. On all of this. Yeah, but that's. Okay, I think we're going broke because of this right here, buying all of that stuff. Let me double check how much some of this stuff was costing me. Maybe I screwed up. 
Oh, God, yes. Okay, yeah. Totally, uh, totally forgot steam motors cost a whole lot of money. Let's, uh, let's just stop that. I'm sure, st okay, I'm sure y'all were all in the comments screaming, like, you're going broke buying that stuff. I've completely forgot. It wasn't the steam motors that I kept buying. I was buying chassis, and then I was buying steam motors as I needed them. That's what I was doing in my last... Okay, I remember now. Hui. Um, a sailor? Yeah, sure. We'll uh, we'll get him for now. I need to actually go sell off some useless items. Like the sailor. Uh, the wood ash I will keep. That I will keep. That I will actually probably use here pretty soon. That's staying. That's staying. He stays. Oh, check that out. I got a costume designer. I need to uh, do a trade union here soon. Costume designer is great. It replaces the uh, cotton fabric from the New World with wool. So that is definitely something I want. I need to get him slotted in as well. Okay. So actually, he's that's the only thing that was like kind of useless. Okay, I want to put this right here in to decrease the cost. Yeah, see, our money's already climbing back up real quickly. I cannot believe I went almost went broke buying these things. I, did, I think I have a bunch of them, though, now. Don't I? I've got 87 now, so yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Let's get our first... These things cost 500. I forgot how expensive they were. I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, first thing the investors are going to be wanting is champagne. So let's get ready for champagne here, shall we? It's a 30 second to a 30 second ordeal. It can be improved by electricity. So I'm going to need another glass maker and another sand mine. And... Where is, where's my, where is Internet Explorer at? I either eat the best or I don't eat. <laughs> well, I guess you're not going to eat then, are you? Okay, wine. Um, yeah, four, or if electrified, eight. Okay, so I need eight vineyards. Which means I am going to need a oh, whole bunch of wood somewhere all right vineyards right here this will do also have a commuter pier down to here now and we're going to be moving off a lot of our uh low-end factories and like sausage stuff everything that is like just creating vulgarity on the main island we're going to be moving all of that off but first we need to get vineyards going because they are gonna want some champagne you know i could just do champagne over here a long long time ago one of my uh one of my long time viewers um mentioned he would like to see this back here by the lake be a vineyard like just vineyards and houses and stuff like that and guess what i have decided i just now decided this very moment it is time for your dream to come true let me get my uh, recording software back up here, just so we I can make sure we're not going too long. We're going to get vineyards back up in here. We're going to need eight of these guys, so this is going to... I'm going to try to make this look as interesting as possible. And we're probably going to move... Who can we move that would look good back there? I mean, I guess really just the workers. Worker houses. Because the artisans don't really fit. So we might move... We might put some workers... Worker houses back up in here. Just to have some homes. I know, you don't have any way to... Drop off the goods yet. I'll, I'll work on it. I promise. Okay. There's you a warehouse. Should have 
hides it from your cold dead hand. I like how her saying that is her way of saying that she's happy with our uh, trade agreements. <laughs> it's a very odd way of saying that she's happy with me. Okay. Let's get some more going right here. Okay. Now, I would like to go under farmers. Yeah, the cypress trees. Very Italian look right here is what I'm wanting to do. Cypress trees lining the roads. Vineyards and stuff sprawling around. Yeah, this is how this is this is gonna look cool. Of course we still need a lot more of these, so let's just keep on building. Can you reach that? You can't okay that's fine i can uh can adjust that a little bit now you can reach it i do believe though that i have an item for grape yard for grapes here let me check items brick factories yeah, here we go. Old world crops. 80% occasionally produces extra potatoes. I'm going to get him back here. That's what I want. Let's get a trade union back in this area. And I want to put in that. So five of those should actually be enough, I believe, if I did my math right in my head. Five of those with an 80% increase should be everything we need. When we can also build more of those. Uh, those being, we can build more of that. This one right here, okay, we're going to have to do something like so. Oh, wait. I forgot. I have a mod. I can do this. Okay, and then we can go like this, maybe, right here. Yeah, we can do that. All right, you are going to want a little okay, I don't want it right there. Want it right there. Okay. And last but not least, one right there. Okay. There's the start of some of our lovely vineyards back up in here. Now, let's get ready to expand glass making. Can I fit, I, I can fit a, another glass guy right there, which we can connect up to there. He is electrified, which means we want another one of these. And champagne. Champagne would actually go perfect right there. So let's move that to there. And we'll put the champagne cellar right there. Not. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is electrified. It's saying it's not, though. Are you out? You're out of oil. Okay, I see what's going on. You are out of oil. Are you out of oil? You're out of oil. 
Okay, that's the problem. He is out of oil. That's what was the problem was. Well, it'll be okay. We'll have just enough. So now we will have champagne coming in. So the next milestone is 750, which will unlock the need for cigars. Then we'll get up to 1750 and we'll need chocolate. All right. Well, Crown Falls is coming along rather nicely. We got um, our income is down to it has dropped considerably, actually, just because having to expand stuff. But it will go up as we expand the city. I'm not too too. This thing right here cost us a lot of money. I mean, that's costing us almost 48. That's costing us 48.50. That thing is expensive. Are these guys expensive? Yeah, they do cost 200 each. So let's quickly go and double check to make sure we have enough of everything right now. That's getting close to being uh, to needing more. We're okay there. And we have just enough. Yeah, we did. That is just enough on the grapes. So that's doing pretty good right there with five with uh, five grapes and a trade union boosting them by 80 percent. And they'll also make extra potatoes, which we don't really need. But, you know, hey, we'll have them. So anyways, guys, long episode, but we finally got the palace. I know that's what y'all been waiting for to see me ogling over the palace and deciding how I'm going to deal with it. And I've got so much more in store for you, so please come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Take care, all.